My family initial reaction was like, were you serious right now? We met online. I was just rebuilding myself. Do you have the strength to stand up against your family? We're supposed to be doing an engagement activity. I'm ready to address this gold digger thing. Jameson got pissed. That's none of their business. I know. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm playing? I'm gonna cry. I'm done with this. I can't do this. Can't wait to get to the house. Are you nervous? Are you excited? A little nervous. A lot of excitement. It's going to be a lot of different personalities in the house, because yeah. everyone's a little. I mean, you got about three personalities yourself. So. <laughs> I'm yeah. Brittany. I'm Patrick. And, and we're, we're getting, getting married. married. We have been together for three years. And we got engaged about a year and a half yeah. in. New Year's Eve. Yes. He's like, I want to take you to this light show at the Botanical Garden. And she's like, it's going to be the worst 30 minutes so ever. I'm like, and I'm this like, this is going to be the please. worst. This is it's so be stupid. Okay. So he takes me to this gazebo. And he just pulled out this brown paper bag. <laughs> I was oh like, my oh God. my God. Starts crying. And when she turned around, all of her family 50 and friends 50 people just came just rushing me. I can't wait to see my cousin Will. I haven't seen him in a minute. Well, I can wait. I can truly wait. My family initial reaction to proposing to B was like, you serious right now? Like, you don't even know this girl. None of them were at our engagement. His family and friends feel as though he's doing different stuff and different things because of me. Picking you over anybody. You my, you my queen. I need them to give you a chance as well as I need for you to give them a chance. I will go to the end of Earth to get the blessing, point blank, period. Hi, oh. welcome. Oh, this is nice. This house is gorgeous. This is for you. This is all you. Wait till you see the inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did we hit the lottery? You just did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the type of person I will break out and dance anywhere. I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> But the beautiful part about it is I'm spontaneous, too. Welcome, you oh, two. Right Have a seat. So congratulations on your engagement. Thank, Thank you. you. How long have you been engaged? A year and a, and a half. half. OK, yeah. so a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys tell me a little bit about your love story? We met online. We met on okay. Tinder. I was just rebuilding myself. After a breakup? Yes. OK. So what's your relationship history? My longest relationship was about maybe six months. And how old are you? 30. OK. <laughs> and how long is that? That sounds crazy. How long is your longest relationship, Brittany? 10 to 12 years. Wow. And so, I'm 30. So you had one long-term relationship? One long, so okay. I was 13 all the way till like 24, 25. We wow. were engaged and everything. And you never had a breakup in there? Yeah, there was two separations. Okay. And within those breakups, he always broke up with me. Mm. And he always had another girl. Like, I literally like, OK, I guess it's done. And then boom, he's in wow. a relationship. I'm surprised he wasn't married. Because like, seriously, it was so quick. And that's what would kill me. I went through so much with that boy. It drained yeah. me. I didn't know myself anymore. I felt disposable. I felt like Wow. Which is not nothing. true. You are not replaceable, babe. Not in my life. I appreciate that so much. When did you first realize that there were members of your family mm -hmm. who weren't on board with this? Oh, from the beginning. Like, we were like, oh, we're thinking about moving in together. Y'all only been together for five, six months. But by that time, we were together for a year. Mm -hmm. So we'll be like, okay. are they trying to play us? Tell me who's coming mm -hmm. from your family okay. and what their concerns are. For my family that's coming is my mom, Honey, mm -hmm. my sister, Sha, and my best friend, Ray. I hope we can get some, you know, issues, kind of, you know. We're all here for a reason. We have concerns about Patrick. They have concerns about Brittany. Actually, all of the three concerns are grouped together. Um, they're very protective. My past, they were there for me. They picked me up through mm -hmm. my depression. So to them, they're kind of just like, how do we know okay. if this is real? Because this is only three years. You've been with someone half your life, pretty much. 
So how do we know that Pat's not gonna switch next year? And they wanna know why Pat's different Right. Because the three years isn't proof that he's different because you could do 12 like that. That's what they're saying. And it's sad. All right. So, Pat, who's coming from your side of the family? So I have my cousin Jamila, mm -hmm. uh, my friend Jameson, and mm -hmm. my cousin Will. I just kind of feel like when she comes around the family, she's a little standoffish and almost like better than, in a sense. You know what I mean? It's that bougie mantra that I have. <laughs> bougie mantra. Jamila plays a, a very big role in my life. Okay. Um, she was there when my mom passed away as a, at a young age, mm -hmm. and she's happy for me. But at the same time, she's like, well, you know, I wish she'd come around a little bit more. Will and Jameson, they feel like that she's a little bougie and she has changed me. They like the old Kanye, <laughs> right? Why would I be around people that think these things of me? It sounds like maybe you've put up some walls to the process of getting to know Patrick's family. Mm -hmm. Our work here is to get those blessings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how do you get those blessings? You resolve the things that the families are dealing with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when they come on board. Okay. So I'm gonna give you tasks that are gonna help bring about the healing. Okay. Brittany, we're gonna have you cook dinner with Patrick's family. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you ready for that? I don't wanna do that. And on top of that, you're gonna be playing a game called Two Truths and a Lie. I do not wanna be in the kitchen with Jameson. Why do I have to be in the kitchen with Jameson, who's a chef? Right. Will, who throws down in the kitchen. And Jamila, you know how her mac and cheese tastes at Thanksgiving. Babe, you got this. Patrick, you're going to play a game called Cornhole the Truth for Brittany's family okay. to be able to get to know you on a whole nother level. I like Absolutely. that. And how important is it for you to get the blessing? Very important. I love her mom. I would want her to be my second mom. That'd be a really beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. Your families are on the way. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, God, my stomach hurts. <laughs> my family's blessing would literally mean the world to me. All right, let's do it. I'm excited to have them around us for days so that they can see that it's genuine and that it's true and that I finally found someone that allows me to be myself, then he's not going to change. Right. I hope you don't. I am glad we're doing this, though. I feel like it's necessary, you know, because I, I really do love your mom, man. I just, you know, I just to make sure we all on the same page. And I want y'all on the same page. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Where's the door? I love you, babe. Oh, this is nice. Who is it? What family? <laughs> Welcome to our home. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mom, do you approve of the home? It's amazing. Ooh, check out the dish. Oh, this is nice. Check out the dish. Is that cacti or anything? Oh my gosh, I can't. What I think the family's there. This is cool. Let's greet them in. Oh, is hey. This a So this is Jamila. Jamila, this is her family and oh, friends. Hi. This is Ray, hi. Jay, what's up? What's up? and Will. All right. That's what's Honey up? and Shy. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen so you in so long. And you know BB. Oh, look at you, honey. Oh, and you know Will. Brittany is standoffish. To get to know Pat's family, you know, maybe she could make a better effort. Thank you guys all for being here, for Pat and I. What we wanted to come here today to do is to get everyone together so each individual can then voice their hesitation or concern for our marriage. Mommy. My concern is that when you're in a relationship, you give, you know, everything of yourself, and I don't want you to lose yourself in this relationship. Also, I heard something, some people on Pat's side of the family, maybe you had some kind of ulterior motives or what have you, and I've seen nothing but positive growth from Pat. Ray, your concerns? I just want to ensure that you make sure that other people's opinions doesn't affect your relationship. And to Pat, I just want to make sure that if maybe your side of the family might not be fully supportive of this engagement, cut them off. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Shai, I know you have a little bit of hesitation. I am hesitant because when your relationship first started, 
I was in my college dorm room and you left, Patrick, and you're like, okay, Sha, I love you. And I'm like, you just met me, like, how do you love me? So it was like the genuineness in that, like, were you just like trying too hard? So I don't know if you're really in it, in it, like I know my sister is. Okay. Although Brittany is my older sister, I act like <laughs> when it comes to her, I don't play any games. And I did hear that someone on your side, Pat, said that she was with you for what you can provide for her, as if like she was like a gold digger or something. 50K? No, where is 50K? I'm done. I'm finished. Are you serious? Every, everything different now. Why would you even put that out there? You know that's between me and you. That's nobody's business. It's time for you to stand up and be the man who you're supposed to be, because me and her are going to be one. I did hear that someone on your side, Pat, said that she was with you for what you can provide for her, as if like she was like a gold digger or something. So I was questioning, well, so I wonder if Pat has her back. Like, is he standing up for her? OK. None of us had used the word gold digger, so I have an issue with that. My concerns are Brittany can make more of an effort getting to know your side of the family a little bit better. I'm giving away my favorite cousin. I want to make sure it's, you know, to the right person. Yeah, I appreciate you for sharing that, Will. And Jamila, I know you said you have some concerns. Brittany, when you do come around to family functions, I feel like you're a little standoffish. So I definitely think that you should work on trying to engage and getting to know us a little bit better. Also, I feel like I'm concerned, Patrick, that you might bite off a little bit more than you can chew, trying to meet her high expectations. And I just want to make sure that you don't lose yourself. OK. So, Jay Manson, I know you have some concerns. The issues that lies with me is sometimes, man, when I look in your face, I don't see the same person that I remember. As his character changes, I'm hoping that his personality isn't affected. Thank you for sharing, Jameson. We definitely appreciate you guys, and I will definitely show up, the both of us, for whoever has concerns for each side. So in doing so, we were given tasks. My task will be with Pat's family. We will be cooking dinner for the house. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be playing two truths and a lie. I want you guys to get to know me. What I'll be doing is taking B's family. We'll be going to go play Cornhole the Truth and I want to be an open book as well. Without further ado. Let's have fun. Let's do this. Get ready to cook with his family. I am nervous, I'm anxious, but I'm going to do it with grace. I'm going to do it with a smile on my face. And I want them to ask me anything they want to ask me. I'm ready to address this gold digger thing. Did you say it? No. Did you say it? Absolutely. I, I know I didn't say it, so why it matters? Because they said it, that's why. If they think that somebody on our family thinks she's a gold digger, yeah. then we definitely need to kind of go ahead and, like, muffle that. Yeah. The objective is to get the bean bags into the hole. And each bean bag that you make, you get to ask me a question. And it'll keep going around. Cool. Okay, cool. That's right. And you Ooh. see that I suck. I'm an open book. Get to know me. With Patrick, I still am trying to get to know him. My sister's in Charlotte. I'm in South Jersey. It's hard to really build a relationship. What question you got? You did say that you didn't know if the love was authentic because I said that I love you. I feel like when I meet someone, I can automatically connect with them. OK. So I instantly loved you. I'm not saying that I'm in love with you like I'm in love with Britney. <laughs> no, yeah, have, like I have But I have you, love like, for love, you. Yeah. I love you. And I still love you. Oh, wow. Very Shucks. authentic. We're waiting for the princess of the castle. How long are we supposed to wait to cook? <sighs> We're making the way easy for her. We're prepping. Yeah. She needs to see you guys doing some of this stuff. I'm sure she doesn't know how to clean a grill. Can someone call her, please? We're supposed to be doing an engagement activity, and I ain't no engaging happening. How right, oh, oh, hey, girl, oh. hey. Oh. Are y'all ready to get cooking? Yes. Girl, they want you to clean this grill first. I'm weak. <laughs> you have this bougie way about you, so I figured you cleaning the grill would show us that you're not bougie I like that. Don't... I have a feeling that she feels a little intimidated to step into the kitchen with us, because I do this for a living. All right, 
two truths and a lie, people. Okay. See, everyone gets a card. And then you need to tell me which one is, is the, the truth, truth and, and which, which one, one is, is a lie. lie. Two of them are true, one of them is a lie. I still talk to my ex on a friendship level. Number two, I'm Thank still affected by my past relationship. Number three, I've changed for the better. Which one do you think is a lie? That you're still affected from your past relationship. Yeah, you know, I agree. You talk to him, right? That's crazy, because I actually don't. And that's why I really want y'all to get to know me. A lot happened in my past. I can possibly be bringing that into your my new present. relationship. Jabula was concerned that when Brittany comes around your family, that she's like kind of reserved. I think she was close to some of the family members in her old relationship, and they may have turned sour. So I feel like she kind of builds a wall to not get as close as she wants to. I want her to be secure and saying, I can let my walls down because your family is my family. How did you feel when you heard Jamison? He hopes you don't change, you know, like your character doesn't change. I'm growing up, he's growing up, and we're not, we're not necessarily growing apart, but we're kind of going in different guys. directions. People just don't understand, like, you have to grow. Yeah. Do you feel that you have the strength to stand up against your family and friends? I'm always have Britney's back because at the end of the day, we're building a bond, we're building a union, and I love her. Dang, maybe he just really, really loves my sister, and that's really how he genuinely feels. Are you guys ready for this next question? Yeah, yes. go ahead. Uh, All right, one of these is not true. What is Number one, I'm standoffish because I don't like his family. That's true. Oop. Wow. Number two, I'm standoffish because I don't feel accepted. And then number three, I'm standoffish because it's my defense mechanism. OK, so I'm going to go with my two truths. You're standoffish because you don't feel accepted, which I don't really get because I've totally, like, opened my arms. Girl, it's my defense oh. mechanism. Okay. Why, though? Like, so why? in my brain, I'm like, oh, man, Jamila's getting cool. Let me now fall back and curl up in my little ball to protect myself. you're scared of, like, what? Yeah, I didn't protect leave. myself before. We're picking the lies as the truth, and that says a lot about the impression that we have about Brittany. And that just means that I need to get to know her a little bit more, for sure. We got to ask some more questions. All right, our wedding is over 50K. We are in debt to pay for our wedding. I am frugal. The law is our wedding is over 50K. 50K? <laughs> 50K? <laughs> He'll sell lie. you before he pay for him. Oh 50K my goodness. for a wedding. The lie is we are in debt that, to pay for our thank wedding. Thank you. Yeah, right. Your wedding is 50K? $50,000 on one day? Nah, bro. <laughs> Not my man's. That's weird. Maybe because I ain't got no money, that's why I but feel that way about it. That's where I'm at. I don't know him. I don't know him. Not... I don't know him. He's a whole different guy. What do you mean? 50K? Yeah. You can buy a tiny yeah. house for less than that. I was going to say, like, it's two better. people with six figures. Power couple. You are so extra. Wedding is extra. <laughs> come here, man. Come here. Come here. Excuse me. I'm gonna keep it all the way spicy with you. Pat my confidant. I tell him all of my personal stuff. Now I feel like that was some things that he kept from me. Which is what though? Like, like the way he been living. Pat gives up this facade, like stuff is hard and this but all like this. But it is, James. But it ain't though. Not with that level. Not not at that. Not at that level. But it is though. Ah. Oh. Pat and I, we've always had a relationship, but we kind of talk about our our personal business and things like that. I am upset because. Pat has changed. He made it seem like he understood my struggle, but Pat in his adult life ain't never worked for $9 an hour. And he's making close to six figures. Let's just be, let's just be honest. Jameson. Because the whole situation different now. Like, every, everything different now. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm playing? <laughs> You're joking. I feel like the bougie just rub it off on Patrick. I'm done with this. I, I can't do this. I'm gonna go to my room. I can't. Brittany, where you going? Jameson started saying that he doesn't know Pat anymore, and now he looks at Pat differently, and I feel guilty because I came between their friendship. <sighs> when BB hauls off and runs off, I have the level of concern, because that's my best friend's fiance. <laughs> and I don't want to get blamed for it like I did it. Cause I ain't do nothing. And I don't wanna have to have that conversation with him. 
I'm really sad and I'm really hurt and I don't But for do why? That. Like, why are you sad? Because I feel like I talk so much that I'm giving off a wrong perception of us again. Like, it's like I'm doing what I'm trying to avoid and it's frustrating me. Just running off? This, this running off and coming up here and getting away from everybody? Please let that be the last time this situation happens in this house. You gonna get me in trouble with him. You gonna think I did something to you. You, you know what, what about me? That's gonna be a conversation we both gonna have to deal with and it didn't have to be that. Exactly. This was a bad idea for us to do. It got crazy. I was crying and everything. About what? I had to play Two Truths and a Lie. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I wrote was that the our wedding is over 50K. So as we're playing a game, it was Jameis's turn. He picks that card. And he was like, I know that's a lie, 50K. So Jameson got pissed. That's none of that business, baby. For real, for real. I know. Why would you even put that out there? You know that's between me and you. That's none of nobody's business. Then he started going into, he doesn't know you anymore. You know, like, yeah. he was just, it just got crazy and I started crying. I was like, you no. Know, I got emotional about it. Cause yeah. I'm like, I allowed someone's, how they. Their opinion their to opinion control to, your reaction. Oh my God. Mm -mm. You want to be accepted. I do. Yeah. And I think I just want to try to do anything to be accepted. I mean, it's necessary to a degree, you know, but you can't lose yourself in it. You know, because at the end of the day, it's just me and you. Let's go eat. I love you. I love you, too. This is beautiful. I'm glad that I'm sitting across from you. Look in the seat. It says your name. I'm going to say the blessing real quick. Yes, let's do that. Take, take it off. Lord, Father, God, thank you for this food that we're about to receive in the Christ, Lord. Amen. 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 How did your task go? It was a good time. He's a great guy. He really compliments you, and... Seeing how much like he advocates for you, which I think is great. I love you, girl. So <laughs> we had a good time. Look at this vibe, then. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Listen, yes. This Beautiful. whole process might just work. You know, it just seems like BB side of the family, like we're good in our vibe, we're good in our energy. Pat side of the family, I don't know. It's just like some type of tension or low energy. Well, they it just have energy. Feels like confusion. They have oh they yeah, have they energy. have a different kind of energy. Yeah. So our task was the two truths and a lie. There were a lot of things that I really didn't know. Was did kind of bother me a little bit. Was like the gold digging thing. Like that's not anything that I ever said because I know I personally said sis got a job. So, so you three listen. don't feel that way. Absolutely not. None of us never ever said that. So that was mentioned mm -hmm. for the first time. Yeah. I never mm -hmm. heard that before, that his, his oh, family wow. thinks okay. that. From what we did share in the kitchen, I learned a lot. For the first time, I'm really starting to kind of understand where some of these feelings mm -hmm. derive from. I feel a little bit better. Absolutely. Yeah. And Jamila, you already know what I experienced by losing my mom. You know, I'm always looking for that, mm -hmm. something to fill that void. And that's the reason why I feel like sometimes I have to be kind of like that voice. Right. You know what I'm saying? For her. Mm -hmm. Because she's not here. Mm -hmm. Like, right. forgive me sometimes if I am overbearing. I need to be able to have that insight yeah. that will just let me know that he's going to be OK. Mm -hmm. So I, it bothered me a little bit that, like, they were gone for a second, because I wanted to proceed with the game. There was a hiccup. James and Brittany got into it, and we didn't know what really happened. What is happening? Uh, we out here. And I'm gonna be real, it's a level of emotionality that I'm not really, I'm not comfortable with dealing with, you know, honestly. I felt him shutting down completely. I never seen Jay act like this before, but people manage their emotions differently, and he's hurting. Jameson, what's wrong? Everything's fine. It's not. Because now fine. Pat's gonna be wanting everything... to know why and what's going on, and everything I good. did it. It's everything, is, everything is smooth, though. I'm gonna go get him. Where's Pat? Right here. You okay, baby? You know? I mean, he started crying. He was just like, I can't, like, he just couldn't take it. Like, okay. that was a lot for him. I just wanna know what the question was. It stemmed off from that question. It was about um, what they paid for their wedding. He's mad of what you spent on your wedding. You getting he's mad. mad. That's why he got you mad. Getting I don't know yet, mom. You putting it? You getting close? No. This is too much. And that's the reason why she's reserved and she keeps to herself. Ding, 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 ding. Are you going?
going through something that you haven't talked to me about, bro? 50K or the wedding? 50K or the wedding? Bro, for the longest time, dude, you talk, and, you know, from what I could understand, you know, you understood where I was coming from as far as, like, financial. Mm -hmm. I can't help but feel like today, you been holding stuff from me. And when me and you met, I kind of fell back from a lot of people. He was one of them, unfortunately, because I was so focused on building our relationship. Pat, you didn't tell me certain things because I feel like you thought I wouldn't be able to handle it. That's not or maybe true. you thought I wasn't going to be happy for you. That's not true. The lack of communication that I'm experiencing with him now is something that I didn't see happening. I feel like I'm losing a grip on a friendship. I love you. You know that. It's cold. You're fine. Now nah, I don't like I'm cold so water. happy y'all came. I feel like we made some leeway, especially with Shot and this Ooh. I love you back to Pat. What? When whenever you say I love you back to Pat, I'm like, oh my god, she said I love you back. She said I love you back. I don't like him like that. <laughs> So question, you know, before we move forward, I mean, do y'all really think that Brittany is right for me? You know me. It's certain things that me and William will see that you ain't gonna never see. Okay. Because you in love. Brittany's spoiled, man. Nine times out of 10, she'll finagle the situation so she can get her way. I will say that. Okay. I think me and her both do the same thing. If it's something that she wants, we work together to get it. If it's something that I want, we work together to get it. I'll be honest with you, one thing I won't be able to shake is the fact that I really feel like you're gonna be doing more work in the relationship than she is. You think so? Yep. You're looking long-term, because this is a lifelong commitment. I know. Forever, so yeah. we can't guide you anymore. Right. This is a boat that you got the sails on, and you're just out there, it's you. Okay. Well, hello, hello, hello. Hi. How are you? Tell me about how your tasks went. Well, yesterday was pretty cool. They start asking me questions, and you know, it kind of connects a lot of the dots. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So you feel like you built some trust with I Brittany's did. family. I did. You absolutely. feel like you, they know you better now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Brittany, how did your task go? <laughs> it went to. Oh a. no. We played Two Truths and a Lie. Uh huh. And Jameson, right. he's like. 50K for a wedding, wow, Pat has changed. Wow, I don't know Pat. Like, I told all of Pat my business, you know, and Pat doesn't tell me anything. I got emotional. Like, I have to go, like, this is too much. I'm hearing you say, Jameson got all messed up over something that had to do with finances. That's a little bit of a question mark for me. There's a saying, when I'm hysterical, it's historical. Mm. That means when I'm having a big, giant reaction, it's not relative to the actual thing that's happening. It means it's, it's going back to something in my history. And I think the historical connection yes. to that was, you know, when me and him were younger, I was always that shoulder for him to cry on. Okay. Or just that standing rock for him to lean on. I see. But it was always, be. it was vice versa as well. Because here's the thing, when somebody's leaning on something and it moves... They fall. Yeah. There's a loss that is happening yes. as a result of this wedding yes. and this relationship yes. where he is losing his he feels position like he's losing. Yeah. in your life. Exactly. My sense is that in some ways, you've never sort of updated the childhood relationship that you had right. with Jameson. You're not actually going to be able to be there for him the same way that you've been there for the past 15 years. It's going to change. It is. Exactly. And, and, you I know, don't it, think it, it was It may have money. been a little dramatic, right? Yeah. Uh, it landed but, a lot of but, but it was an emotion, right? But you can, then I you know, you got to take part of the responsibility for coming here and knowing, like, nobody controls every single thing. And That's I do true. notice that part of what gets you triggered is when somebody's thinking something about you, when their opinions are so important that you have to keep them far away. That if you could reduce how important you thought their opinions were, you could let them be closer. But how do I get to that point of... I'll tell you how. Okay. You decide that your opinion about you is the one that matters the most. That's it. This is why the past relationship isn't resolved yet. 
it's how you stayed in that for so long. Because I think this is Jamila's big thing is that that relationship isn't resolved. And it's not that that relationship isn't resolved. It's that the thing that got you in that relationship is still in you. What you're saying makes sense. <laughs> it's, that's what's making you run it's out of the me. room. That's right. That's it's what's me. making you put up the walls. Yeah. Have you written your vows yet? No. Well, what if you were to work on that a little bit and share them with her? That's nerve wracking. I didn't think I would have to do that. Well, it's less than yes. a month away, uh, guys. Yeah, I know. You, we've been talking about, well, you know. I uh, know. Maybe you want to do your vows too, work on that a little bit. I can definitely share. I will, yeah, I would like that. And you could share it with Jameson. What? That would help him understand this <laughs> level of relationship. Makes sense. Yeah. Is Pat the same person y'all met two years ago? Some of the things that I could come to Pat about, I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying some of those things. And that's some personality differences that I'm starting to notice. For I was, the good or for the bad? Time will tell with that. It's not very easy having to relinquish a relationship, especially with them starting this life together. The friendship that he and I had, blood could make us any closer. So he's more like family. You don't really lose family. Definitely need to talk. I don't want our relationship to change, but it is. So, kid, right on, man. <laughs> I'm actually, um, man, just doing a lot of thinking. Uh, I was writing my vows. I don't think I'd ever expressed to anyone but myself that I was like really looking for love. Bro, you don't think I know that? <laughs> Who helped you make that profile? That's right. See, <laughs> you see, you see, see how you easily we forget. <laughs> You know, we've been boys for for a long time. Long minute. But I wanted to apologize to you um, because inadvertently, dude, I, I started putting up walls that I didn't even know I was kind of constructing. Instead of me building walls, I should have built boundaries because with boundaries, I'm still able to allow you to come in. But with walls, it's like you, you don't know what's going on. The, the part that, that was the hardest to come to grip with was the fact that in the years that we've been friends, you go from short-lived situations that were cool to now you engaged, and now we like, boom. I know. It's, it's, a a lot to, it's a lot to process. And I got to deal with that. What's going on? I'm just chilling, relaxing, taking in this beautiful sun. Yeah, so, you know, I know we were getting somewhere before we even got here, and I kind of, like, shut down. And I really honestly did not know why I was doing it. I really thought, like, you were tripping. I kind of blamed you guys, especially you, for having this perception. I woke up this morning and I was just like, I want to change and I want to be vulnerable to you because if I'm not able to be vulnerable, then how will you guys get to know me? Absolutely. As me and Brittany continue to grow our relationship, things will continue to change, right? You may not be able to lean on me like you did, but now I don't want you to lean on me. You know, it's time for you to stand up and be the man who you're supposed to be. Our old relationship may not be the same. However, it's like our new relationship is gonna be even better. And you're not gonna have just one friend, you're gonna have two, because you're gonna have me and her. Because me and her are gonna be one. My past relationship, it was just really hard for me. And like, with his family and his friends, it was so hard. And I don't want to have you feeling like I'm still holding on to that. Right. After her explaining where these feelings were coming from, I do feel like I got a better understanding as to why this wall was up. And at the end of it, I definitely feel closer. I've been working on my vows. Have you? And since we're, you know, bonding and stuff, I wanted to read them to you. You cannot tell anybody. You have Please to keep this a secret. see me clutching my pearls? <laughs> you have to keep this a secret. Hey, so listen, I wanted to read you my vows. You let me know what you think. It's interesting how life works. That moment I met you, it seemed time had froze. And every moment after that, moved very slowly. Thank you for showing me what love really means. Thank you for helping me grow into the woman I am today. You have truly saved me from the old me. You understand me to the point where I am ready for us to be one. I made no mistake bringing you into my life. 
I cherish the ground you walk on. With you by my side, I feel unstoppable. I am beyond blessed to carry and hold your last name high. Wow. I feel like my mother did me a favor when she passed and went to heaven. God allowed her to make friends with an angel. You are that angel. Good man, <laughs> I'll, I'll be here. I'll be real with you. I'm flabber. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Like, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, like, bro, I'm dumbfounded by that one. I'm happy you're gonna be beside me on that day too. You understand what I'm saying? I just want you to know, man. Once those rings are exchanged, everything gonna be different. I ain't gonna front, bro. It's gonna be hard for me. You know what I'm saying? Jamison been there for me for years. You no, know, that's my bro. But at the end of the day, it's like, we all need to understand that change is inevitable. I don't know if he's ready for that. Tell me how the tasks go yesterday. Speaking to Jamila, it was so organic. It felt so real. And I think it really touched her heart to make her realize that she is important, not only to Pat, but to me. What did it feel like to be open to sharing your inner feelings. It was terrifying. <laughs> but thankfully for me, like, she's the type of person, she's very understanding. She just wanted to make sure that I was right for him. By being vulnerable, you open the door to making the real human connection. Yeah. Anytime you show up to give it, you get it. Right. Yeah. Pat, how'd your tasks go? So to talk with Jameson was very emotional. Mm -hmm. When me and Brittany started our relationship, instead of me going to him, I was going to her. Right. And that's okay, but mm -hmm. the part that I apologize is not communicating that with him. You got honest at a whole nother level, and that's what's actually clearing the way right. to create this new foundation. Mm -hmm. And I told him, mm -hmm. now you will have me, mm -hmm. and you will have Brittany. Now you have P and B. <laughs> you know, it's a package deal. He's like, where's the J? <laughs> it's a package yeah. deal. P, B, and J. <laughs> Brittany, you came in here like, I don't know if I can go through with this wedding if we don't get these blessings. Definitely. How are you feeling right now? I've grown to see through this process that this man truly does have my back. Mm -hmm. If I were to not get their blessings, mm -hmm. it's not because of him. So, you ready to go ask for the blessings? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Say, I appreciate y'all for being here. You travel, you know, you sacrifice time. So without further ado, we want to ask for your blessing. Ray, my best friend, do we have your blessing? For Pat, I did want to make sure that if your family or friends had any negativity towards Brittany, that you continue to stand up for yourself and for your future marriage. These past few days, I really see that you advocate for Brittany, you advocate for each other. So as far as my blessing, yeah, I think I will bless you guys. And my sister. When I first got here, I was just concerned with things that were said about you from Patrick's side of the family. You know, you're with him for his money or like for the wrong reasons or even for a come up. Patrick, I was concerned that, you know, you weren't genuine. Just throwing the love word out there mm -hmm. so quick, it can come off as not authentic. Okay. But since I've been here, I've seen so much growth in you both. As far as my blessing, I trust you, Pat. You what guys the have heck is thank you. my blessing. What are with all these long pauses? I mean, the dramatics. I'm gonna need them to get it together and say, yes, I bless y'all. Right. Shoot me a text message <laughs> or something. Right. My concerns were hearing all of these assumptions towards you and being in a situation where you're made to feel uncomfortable, but I will have to trust that you do have our best interest. Honestly, I'm gonna give you my blessing. Thank you, thank you. My little big cousin, Will. When I first came here, I didn't know Brittany that well, and I felt like I was losing you. We weren't talking as much, but I got to understand where she was coming from, and I totally understand because I've been there before, too. Mm -hmm. As far as my blessing goes, 
I'd be happy to give you guys my blessing. Jamila. I definitely had some concerns about Britney, which made me start to question if this was really authentic and how genuine you were. But since I've been here, I do appreciate you making the effort, allowing those walls to come down a little bit. I will give you guys my blessing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My boy Jay. When I first got here, my concerns were um, definitely BB's readability. Not really knowing 100% how she feel most of the time. She kind of hide that. Also, you changing. You know, me looking in your face and not knowing 100% this person now. Since I've been here, I realized I was pretty much spot on with the feelings that I had. You have changed, but your personality is still intact. I gave y'all my blessing. Thank you. I gave my blessing because it was the right thing to do. Could some things be better? You bet. But people in relationships, their responsibility lies more so to the person they're in the relationship with versus the homie. Can we all have a group hug? Yes. Yeah. 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 Do a group hug. This is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting married. We're getting married. Mary, 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 Mary. Hey, I love y'all. I feel like we're all family, and I just want us to like continue to like build from here. It might not be perfect for everyone in their relationship with Brittany and Pat, but at least everybody's gonna work on it. Family or fiance.